Hi everyone, this is your favorite friend Jay and currently I'm going to review one of my favorite, favorite films Her, an imaginary portrait of Diane Arbus. It was produced uh, in 2006, directed by Steven Sheen. So, first of all, who is Diane Arbus? Diane Arbus was this kind of Nepo baby photographer. She came from a very wealthy family and she married her high school sweetheart and they started a commercial photography business together until she wanted to become an independent photographer. And her subjects were all, well, what we would say endearingly, and I'm not saying this as a derogatory term, freaks. People who were different, people who did not conform to what you would expect a photographer would just take photos of. Like she wouldn't photograph models, she wouldn't take photos of celebrities of beautiful people she just took photos of people who were different who were eccentric who exhibited something overt and in your face she photographed nudists and you will see her diverse subjects and how she had theories about how the camera sometimes takes a different perspective to the person being photographed as opposed to the photograph itself and how a photograph of a person is different from that person itself. So this film stars two really, really brilliant actors, Nicole Kidman and Robert Downey Jr. in one of his, I'm sorry, best, best roles ever. For me, Robert Downey Jr. has a career and then he has fur, an imaginary portrait of Diane Arbus. So in this movie, it's a fictionalized version of Diane Arbus. She comes from a wealthy her making family husband is like um this commercial photographer and she works with him in the business but she's a housewife confined to taking care of kids and stuff like that until she meets this stranger who moves into their building and she discovers hairs blocking her you know like plumbing and when she goes to meet him she discovers he has hypertrichosis and the guy is covered in hair and she meets him always when he's wearing masks. So she he is wearing gloves and he's wearing masks. So it's like he has a double layer of anonymity to him while she's very vulnerable and exposed. And the beauty of this film is how there's this juxtaposition between these two situations and how it's very different. She's always out there. She's very seen. She's very herself. And he's layer after layer of anonymity, layer after layer of hiding. It's very weird and brave, and you wouldn't, I think, imagine it with Robert Downey Jr. because he makes great use of his voice in this film because you cannot see his face at all except in a pivotal scene where it's a very intimate, sensual, beautiful film where all his hair is removed by Nicole. So imagine the beauty of it. There is a layer of security, of hiding, you're wearing a mask and a glove, and then you reveal and you're covered in hair, even your features are not apparent. And then you have someone shave all that off, so you have an exposure that maybe you didn't intend, maybe you didn't expect. Marvin Israel was Diane Arbus's real-life lover after she separated from her husband, and he was the one who encouraged her to seek the eccentric, the weird, the different in life and i think they kind of based the robert downey jr character on him a little bit maybe i'm not sure however i recommend this movie to everyone who wants a different kind of cinema who wants a cinema that speaks to you in a language that is unusual and unspecific who wants like these exciting and sensual and mysterious relationships on screen and i would love of course when you watch it to tell me your opinion in the comments um, and also just enjoy the beauty and sensitivity. Very, very hypersensitive actress, Nicole Kidman. Her eyes are always moving and they tell a lot. And Robert Downey Jr. in this role is very grounded and stable. And he's just there hiding. But you could feel his feet on the ground cemented to it. So watch it and tell me what you think.